Hi everybody, Robert here again with more Revit training precasts in a day. We're going to look at these double T's I did before, and these are Autodesk double T's, and they don't really give us too many options. So I've got a double T I created, so I'm going to just grab these beams here, these double T's, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select all instances. I probably could have did something else here, it might be a little quicker. Um, no, I don't want this guy. He doesn't do anything much. This is the out of the box. Yes. So we're going to cancel that, close that down. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to see if I can, I'm see if I can, I'm going to select these guys here. I'm going to select all instances, entire project. And then I'm going to use this guy here. This is one of my double T's I made. Uh, Let's get rid of these now. Okay, so they're gone. So we're going to use this double T. And let's just have a look at uh, the different options we have. So I'm going to edit this family here. And let's go look into our properties. Okay, yeah, so I've got different things I could do here. So this is a smart one. So I'm going to just cancel this. And then I'm going to shut this down. So now let's go back into our framing plan. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so we'll just go here and we'll just say beam system again. But this time in my properties, I'm going to select that. Uh, where is it? There it is. I'm going to select that guy, and then I'm going to do my uh, rectangular shape. Let's do another half inch minus negative, I mean, one inch offset. So that will make this minus one here. And we've run this before. Uh, I mean, it'd be we go. So we'll go here from this point down to here. And then we'll do our span direction. So now let's finish this side. Okay, now there are double T's. Now these are smart. So we've got our beam system going here. Let's tile these views. I don't need that guy. So now we have our beam system here. So while I have it selected as a beam system, I can go in and make sure everything's good, it's heights and everything. So let's go and have a look at this guy. I think it's pretty good. So then here, uh, I want to drop it, remove it. So I remove the beam system. And then like we did before, I'm going to select all these guys And then I'll move this over from here to here. Now, with this smart guy we got here now, we can go and do things like this. So I'm going to copy this one here. And I'll move that to that side. Now, this one is smart, but we can select it here, or this end piece. And we can go down into our properties. We can change this eight foot width to let's go with six feet. Let's knock two feet off of that. Apply. And then we'll move. Yep, that looks good. It looks good. So we'll just align that right into place. Okay, so that's how we want to work with our double T's. So see how we look in here. Okay, so now let's do the other side. Same thing. Structure, beam system. We'll make this negative one inch. And then I'll right here. Now if anybody think they might want this double T, I think I got it. I, I, I got this, I made this years ago at Gage. 
and then I took it to Span Creek. <laughs> And yeah, it just sort of moved around with me. I just remember that it's smart. So then we can go here and let's finish this. Okay, same deal here on the end. Okay, actually it might work. So here we'll select this guy, this beam system here, and we'll remove. Uh, let's see what's happening over here. Okay, no, we don't want to remove the beam system just yet. So let's move this guy just to the other side of the wall. And then down this end here, we'll drop this beam system. Okay, now we'll take this piece again and go into our properties. Normally we would duplicate this, so I would go edit type here, and I would duplicate it, and I'll just say, okay, you got to give that guy a name, and then I'll go to this one, and I'll make this one six feet, and we'll move this over. So hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It will help me out a lot to make videos like this. Uh, I want to move this into place. And just align that guy over to there. And there you go, double T's, folks. Uh, got a section view going through here. And there you go, double T's. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, we can work with these double T's better as well as far as reinforcing. So I'm going to leave it there. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.